Proverbs chapter 18. An unfriendly person isolates himself and seems to care only about his own issues, for his contempt of sound judgment makes him a recluse. Senseless people find no pleasure in acquiring true wisdom, for all they want to do is impress you with what they know. An ungodly man is always cloaked with disgrace, as dishonor and shame are his companions. Words of wisdom are like a fresh, flowing brook, like deep waters that spring forth from within, bubbling up inside the one with understanding. It's atrocious when judges show favor to the guilty and deprive the innocent of justice. A senseless man jumps headfirst into an argument. He's just asking for a beating for his reckless words. A fool has a big mouth that only gets him into trouble, and he'll pay the price for what he says. The words of a gossip merely reveal the wounds of his own soul, and his slander penetrates into the innermost being. The one who's too lazy to look for work is the same one who wastes his life away. The character of God is a tower of strength, for the lovers of God delight to run into his heart and be exalted on high. Wow, let's read that again. The character of God is a tower of strength. For the lovers of God delight to run into his heart and be exalted on high. Wow. The rich, in their conceit, imagine that their wealth is enough to protect them. It becomes their confidence in a day of trouble. A man's heart is the proudest when his downfall is nearest. For he won't see glory until the Lord sees humility. Listen before you speak. For to speak before you've heard the facts will bring humiliation. The will to live sustains you when you're sick, but depression crushes courage and leaves you unable to cope. The spiritually hunger are always ready to learn more, for their hearts are eager to discover new truths. Would you like to meet a very important person? Take a generous gift. It will do wonders to gain entrance into his presence. There are two sides to every story. The first one to speak sounds true until you hear the other side, and they set the record straight. A coin toss resolves a dispute and can put an argument to rest between formidable opponents. It's easier to conquer a strong city than to win back a friend whom you've offended. Their walls go up, making it nearly impossible to win them back. Sharing words of wisdom is satisfying to your inner being. It encourages you to know that you've changed someone else's life. Your words are so powerful that they will kill or give life, and the talkative person will reap the consequences. Wow, that's good. I like the way they say that. It's powerful. A life and death is in the power of the tongue. Your words are so powerful that they will kill or give life, and the talkative person will reap the consequences. When a man finds a wife, he has found a treasure, for she is the gift of God to bring him joy and pleasure. But the one who divorces a good woman loses what is good from his house. To choose an adulteress is both stupid and ungodly. The poor plead for help from the rich, but all they get in return is a harsh response. Some friendships don't last for long, but there is one loving friend who is joined to your heart closer than any other. Proverbs 19. It's better to be honest, even if it leads to poverty, than to live as a dishonest fool. The best way to live is with revelation knowledge, for without it, you'll grow impatient and run right into error. There are some people who ruin their own lives and then blame it all on God. Bringing wealth, being wealthy means having lots of friends, but the poor can't keep the ones they have. Perjury won't go unpunished and liars will get all they deserve. Everyone wants to be close to the rich and famous, but a generous person has all the friends he wants. When a man is poor, even his family has no use for him. Wow. 
how much more will his friends avoid him? For though he begs for help, they won't respond. That's kind of harsh. Do yourself a favor and love wisdom. Learn all you can, then watch your life flourish and, and prosper. Tell lies and you're going to get caught, and the habitual liar is doomed. It doesn't seem right when you see a fool living in the lap of luxury or a prideful servant ruling over princes. A wise servant, <laughs> that's not what it says, a wise person <laughs> demonstrates patience, for mercy means holding your tongue. When you're insulted, be quick to forgive and forget it, for you are virtuous when you overlook an offense. The rage of a king is like the roar of a lion, but his sweet favor is like a gentle, refreshing rain. A rebellious son breaks a father's heart, and a nagging wife can drive you crazy. <laughs> You can inherit houses and land from your parents, but a good wife only comes as a gracious gift from God. Go ahead, be lazy and passive, but you'll go hungry if you live that way. Honor God's holy instructions and live, li and life will go well with you. But if you despise his ways and choose your own plans, you will die. Every time you give to the poor, you make a loan to the Lord. Don't worry, you'll be repaid in full for all the good you've done. Don't be afraid to discipline your children while they're still young enough to learn. Don't indulge your children or be swayed by their protests. A hot-tempered man has to pay the price for his anger. If you bail him out once, you'll do it a dozen times. Listen well to wise counsel and be willing to learn from correction so that by the end of your life, you'll be known for your wisdom. A person may have many ideas concerning God's plan for his life, but only the designs of his purpose will succeed in the end. Wow, that's really good. A person may have many ideas concerning God's plan for his life, but only the designs of his purpose will succeed in the end. A man is charming when he displays tender mercies to others. And a lover of God who is poor and promises nothing is better than a rich liar who never keeps his promises. When you live a life of ab abandoned love, surrendered before the awe of God, here's what you'll experience. Abundant life, continual protection, and complete satisfaction. Let me read that one again. When you live a life of abandoned love, surrendered before the awe of God, Here's what you'll experience. Abundant life, continual protection, and complete satisfaction. There are some people who pretend they're hurt, deadbeats who won't even work to feed themselves. <laughs> if you punish the insolent who don't know any better, they will learn not to mock. But if you correct a wise man, he will grow even wiser. Children who mistreat their parents are an embarrassment to their family and a public disgrace. So listen, my child, don't reject correction, or you will certainly wander from the ways of truth. A corrupt witness makes a mockery of justice for the wicked man. Uh, the wicked never play by the rules. Judgment is waiting for those who mock the truth, and foolish living invites a beating. Proverbs chapter 20. A drunkard is obnoxious, loud, and argumentative. You're a fool to get intoxicated with strong drink. The rage of a king is like the roar of a lion. Do you really want to go and make him angry? A person of honor will put an argument to rest. Only the stupid want to pick a fight. If you're too lazy to plant seed, it's too bad when you have no harvest on which to feed. A man of deep understanding will give good advice, drawing it out from the well within. Many will tell you they're your loyal friends, but who can find one is truly trustworthy? The lovers of God will walk in integrity, and their children are fortunate to have godly parents as their examples. That's true. Susan and I are fortunate to have you and dad as our godly examples 
of life, of leaders of family, of leaders of community, leaders of people. Hmm. I'll read that again. The lovers of God will walk in integrity and their children are fortunate to have godly parents as their examples. That is true. And we are grateful. A righteous king sits on his judgment seat. He scatters evil away from his kingdom by his wise discernment. Which one of us can truly say, I am free from sin in my life, for my heart is clean and pure? We all can say that. We all can say that because Jesus, Jesus took all of our sin. <laughs> he took all of our sin. And we can truly say, my heart is clean and pure. Mark it down. God hates it when you demonstrate a double standard, one for them and one for you. All children show what they're really like by how they act. You can discern their character, whether they are pure or perverse. Lovers of God have been given eyes to see with spiritual discernment and ears to hear from God. I was just looking for that scripture yesterday. Oops, right there, verse 12. Lovers of God have been given eyes to see with spiritual discernment and ears to hear from God. If you spend all your time sleeping, you'll grow poor. So wake up, sleepyhead. Don't sleep on the job. And then there will be plenty of food on your table. The buyer says, as he haggles over the price, that's junk. It's worthless. Then he goes out and brags, look at the great bargains I got. You may have an abundance of wealth, piles of gold and jewels, but there is something of far greater worth. Speaking revelation words of knowledge. Anyone stupid enough to guarantee a loan for a stranger deserves to have the, pros the property held as security. What you obtain dishonestly may seem sweet at first, but sooner or later, you'll live to regret it. If you solicit good advice, then your plans will succeed. So don't charge into battle without wisdom, for wars are won by skillful strategy. A blabbermouth will reveal your secrets. So stay away from people who can't keep their mouths shut. <laughs> if you despise your father or mother, your life will flicker out like a lamp extinguished into the deepest darkness. If an inheritance is gained too early in life, it will not be blessed in the end. Don't ever say, I'm going to get even with them if it's the last thing I do. Wrap God's grace around your heart and he will be the one. To vindicate you. The Lord hates double standards. That's hypocrisy at its worst. It is the Lord who directs your life, for each step you take is ordained by God to bring you closer to your destiny. So much of your life then remains a mystery. <laughs> wow. <laughs> be careful in making a rash promise before God, or you may be trapped by your vow and live to regret it. A wise king is able to discern corruption and remove wickedness from his kingdom. The spirit God breathed into man is like a living lamp, a shining light searching into the innermost chamber of our being. Wow, that's so good. Good leadership is built on love and truth for kindness and integrity are what keep leaders in their position of trust. We admire the young for their strength and beauty, but the dignity of the old is their wisdom. When you are punished severely, you learn your lesson well, for painful experiences do wonders to change your life. But let's end on the better one. Let's end on 29. We admire the young for their strength and beauty, but the dignity of the old is their wisdom. <laughs> That's a better one to end on, isn't it? <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you.